Welcome back to the next episode of the engine. Uh, I managed to get some small plugs. So that's a car spark plug, NGK. That's the plug that was supposed to run in the engine. That's a 10 mil thread. And then this is the plug that I've settled on, which is an NGK CM6. Then I've made a recess in here because the spark plug thread was a bit long so that gives me enough clearance on the next engine keeping this dimension as small as possible so got some other bits that came quite a few Need a roller bearings, I need those for the camshaft. They're just tiny little needle rollers and some silver steel shaft. That'll be the camshaft and it'll run in these, these roller bearings. Uh, I've got some crank bearings. got some cranks so here we have some cranks I don't know if you remember but I need to machine them down so that's the 12 mil bearing uh, bore out the crank so that it fits together and then the bearing goes over the top of the joint it needs to be a press fit so I've got some crank shafts that is the assembly as it appears. Uh, obviously I need the comrod, I need the comrod bearing. These bearings are not really going to be used. I'll use a couple of these uh, pulleys for the camshaft drives. Uh, and I need to press them apart. Here I've got a bag of crankshafts. There's like uh, 20 cam uh, crankshafts here because I'll be building a flat six as well to go in the Porsche. Uh, that'll be much easier because I don't need to shorten the, the cylinders as much and it'll be air cooled. Um, but yeah, let's get pressing these apart. First job is to pull these bearings off. This one comes off easily. This one I can just pull it back out of the way because I can machine it holding this part of the, uh, the shaft at the end. Let's do that. This is the last crank to pull this bearing back. Pulling it back out of the way so that it's on this section of the crankshaft so that it's out of the way while I'm machining it. Next job is to cut the end of the crank off. That's the cranks cut down to that. Just going to press them apart. This is the press that I'm using to press the cranks apart and just push, pushing them through a hole in the steel plate. apart and press that back through That 
that's the pin that I won't be using anymore. I'll be using a longer one because there'll be two rods on each journal. So that is 12 cranks into the pieces. I'll start machining these crank halves now. So I'll stick those in the lathe. 